Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House. It's lovely to have you along and welcome to the general reading for this week of November 15th through to November 22nd. Now do remember it is a general reading. Uh, all of it can't possibly resonate for everyone, but you may find that you get some clarity and direction for these upcoming week's energies. So firstly, I want to thank everyone, all of those people who sent my beloved husband Pete and myself wishes of congratulations, well wishes for our 17th wedding anniversary, which was yesterday on November the 15th. And secondly, the Posse of Angels and I were happy to report on my Angel Healing House blog talk radio show, which by the way, airs every week on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that many of us will be breathing a huge sigh of relief with the forward moving energies that are going to be with us for the second half of November going into December. Yesterday's Scorpio New Moon on November 15th is helping us to bring unseen or unexpected new beginnings of a very new uh, cycle for many. With Mercury, the planet of communications, getting out of its sticky post-shadow phase, which will be completely over by November 19th and 20th, we will find that finally important dialogues can take place and conversations will once again be free-flowing. In addition, with Mars finally getting out of retrograde last week, many will feel like they've got their mojo back. <laughs> they will feel motivated once again to take action as this whole month of forward moving energies will be helping so many of us to get unstuck. In two days time, on November 21st, we have a change in energy when the sun goes from Scorpio and it enters Sagittarius. And then we get to experience some of the new signs, energies, or their characteristics. We Saggies, my rising sign is Sag. We are big spirited. We're open hearted and we are natural born leaders who love, love, love adventure and travel. And we do go after what we want. Along with, okay, we are brutally honest, but along with that, we're deeply caring, independent, friendly, and certainly we are outgoing. Perhaps with this saggy wildness or this sense of adventure, we may be more inclined to say yes to offers and opportunities or jobs that we may have declined in the past. Maybe we'll find that where we might have held back expressing ourselves, we now feel a great urgency to be brutally honest and to speak our minds. Or just maybe we'll have a burning urge to break loose and just have fun exploring our own independent, adventurous, wild side. So it's going to be a very exciting ride with each passing day as we are going into the rest of uh, November. And there is so much movement. As a matter of fact, when I chose the rune today, it was this one. Big M on there. It's the rune of Awats. Awats, A E H W A Z. And it's the rune of movement. It is also the rune of progress. And its sign is the sign of the horse. Now, this, A Watts, is a rune of transit, of movement. It's a rune of new dwelling places, new attitudes. Basically, it's moving us up into a brand new way of life. It also signifies movement in the sense of improving or bettering our situations. Now, it also says that it's gradual development and steady progress. And there's a, an accompanying notion here with this rune about slow growth through new 
uh, shifts and changes in our lives. Um, now, this could come um, with a growth of a new business idea. It could come uh, with a new job offer or the development of a creative idea. It's saying that there's moral effort and steadfastness are called for, but A. Watts is certainly saying that we have progressed far enough to feel some measure of safety in our lives, but now, now is the time to turn again, face the future, and be reassured as we are prepared to receive our good fortune and then to share that good fortune that comes our way. So I'm so excited that this rune came out. We were just speaking about Mars moving forward and, um, and the Scorpio new moon bringing in those new cycles. And there's so many different things coming in for us. I'm so sorry, I didn't turn off my phone. Let me just turn that down, okay. The next thing that's coming in for us is, um, so thank you, A. Watts. The next card that I went to is the Fairy's Oracle, and that's by Brian Froud. Magical, absolutely magical cards here. And the card that came out is this one. Let's see if I can get it so that there's no reflection. It's a number two card, and it's Ecstasy. Let's see. This one says something Ecstasy is something that flows through us, and, um, but it can only flow through us when we open ourselves to it. So there's this movement of ecstasy coming in. It fills us with the power and with the motivation to grow, to become what we have, what we have the positive potential of being and to fulfill our purpose in being here and now on the planet. Now, I'm not surprised that this one came in because as we move later on into November and in December, there are going to be quite uh, a few eclipses which are going to be occurring. And eclipses always bring into the light those fated, destined, karmic things that set us on a new path. So when we are feeling these surges of ecstasy or these feelings of joy, we are empowered and we know that we're on the right track, the track that leads us to actually greater meaning and fulfillment in our lives. This card is in a reading, says, among other things, go for it. When, when that new movement comes in and you are being offered something, go for it. It confirms that we are on the right course, moving, movement in the right direction, and that we are in harmony with the great song of life. It says great joy and great accomplishment are now within your reach. Uh, the Posse of Angels are also saying that we've done the hard work. We've done the clearing. We've done the cleansing. We've done all of those things. And now it's time to reap the benefits. But we can only reap the benefits if we make, when that movement comes in, is if we say yes. So get your saggy on, that wild, adventurous side of yours that goes, that goes for things that we uh, that our intuition tells us to step forward to. So wonderful card there of ecstasy. Then I went to my wonderful Oracle of E cards. And these are by Pam Grout and Colette Baron reed And when I chose a card, this one flew out of the deck and it's time to fly. Another movement card. And it's 44. Look up the angel numbers. 44 is a number of angelic, heavenly help. Now, this goes along with the eclipses coming up uh, in two days' time. Uh, sorry, in two weeks' time. And those other ones going into, um, in, into December as well. Those fated, those karmic, those destined things 
for us to be able to fly to and make movement. Uh, the um, reading in the book is it may seem like a gamble, but here's a little intel from the universe. That leap into the unknown you've been waiting and wishing and praying and pleading for. Not only is the safety net already in place, but there's a pos oh my gosh, there's a posse of angels. I wonder if it's my posse of angels. There's a posse of angels waiting with champagne and chocolates and oh, lovely Egyptian cotton sheets. Um, are you ready? Are you ready to fly? I'm certainly ready to fly. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. Time to fly. Another movement card. Let's go to my tarot cards. These are my beautiful, absolutely beautiful tarot cards. There's me. There's me, Angel Ariel, flying. And these will be available, hopefully in 2021, for everyone to purchase them. So let's knock, knock, knock. Now, while I'm shuffling, what else did the Posse of Angels want me to remind you of? Oh, okay. Uh, the other thing uh, that is um, going to be happening is tomorrow, Mercury, the planet of communications, uh, goes into Uranus. And Uranus is the planet, oh, geez, I've just got shocks up and down my legs. Uh, Uranus is the planet of uh, big shocks, big surprises. Uh, some people call it the cosmic alarm clock going off with breakthroughs that trigger events that we maybe didn't expect. And first of all, leading into that, uh, the revelations in the U.S. election about dead people regist being registered to vote, the Dominion vote counting system flipping votes from one candidate to another, and hundreds of thousands of mail ballots being um, counted after the election. There are so many things that have come about. So with Mercury <laughs> going into uh, Uranus tomorrow on November 17th, I can't wait to see what other revelations will be coming out. Um, it is just almost every moment of every single day is just a, just a reveal on, uh, on bringing anything to light. Uh, this year of 2020 of clear vision has helped us to see anything that was not of truth and was not of justice in order to bring it to light. So that it could be acknowledged, thanked for the contrast that it gave us, so we could bless it, so that we will know how to put in new systems and new structures, so that everyone's vote is counted truthfully and honestly, um, and, that, um, and that we can all live on a very light planet of truth. So, one more shuffle here. Let me just and cut the cards and uh, see what comes out. First card that's coming out for us is the world card. I'm not surprised. This is the card of completion. Up until uh, uh, yesterday, November the 15th, it did feel to me like we had completed a cycle. We had completed uh, that all the trauma, the grief, the, um, the restrictions and constrictions uh, that many have felt this past year of trauma and grief and constriction, but we, it feels like that is a cycle that's come to an end now. And we are about to step into a new cycle, you know, where there's always the ending of one cycle, then there's a beginning of a new cycle. And look at that laurel wreath. The posse of angels are saying, you've done a very good job. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself some credit as we go into these very forward-moving energies going into November. Okay, next card is the Eight of Wands. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is a movement card, definitely. Uh, this is a card about 
um, fast-moving, unexpected messages, texts, um, phone calls, emails, could be even snail mail, old-fashioned letters coming, that, that uh, we might have uh, thought or prayed or intended for something to happen, but it's going to come in in such an unexpected way. Look at the hawk in the sky is going to be bringing in the message, and that rainbow in between those wands bringing in those messages is about a dream, an intention, and a wish of ours coming through. And it'll be like a, oh my gosh, but it'll be a good, oh my gosh, as we will be amazed at what will come in as we go more into November and into December. This is something that the Posse of Angels are saying. Once again, it's fated, it's karmic, it's destined for our soul to step forward into. Next card that's coming out for us is the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. It's as if our own personal fairy taps that wheel and starts it spinning. More movement, more movement. We will be as lucky as this little mouse here. Gabriel the mouse, he's got his head in a popcorn bucket and he's filling up and he's, he's nourishing himself and nurturing his, uh, his uh, taste buds. And this is what it's going to, it's a, it's a 10 card, it's a one, it's going to start the wheel turning, a destined wheel started turning for us. Um, and they're saying in very unexpected ways unseen things, unexpected ways that are coming in for us. That is what the, uh, that is what the Scorpio new moon is, is bringing us. Because remember, Scorpio is uh, the planet of hidden things, mysterious things, secret things, things that we might not have known that were going on underneath the surface. But that wheel starts to turn to bring them in. So there's two movement cards there uh, with, with Awats. The, um, the rune of movement, um, that ecstasy card going in the right direction, another movement card. Next card that is coming out for us is the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is the card of getting together with like-minded people to collaborate, to connect. Um, this is, we spoke about a new idea a new business opportunity, a new offer coming in. And know that if we have been offered something, just like time to fly, that I always say this to my clients, when we take a step forward, especially when our intuition is urging us to take a step forward, it means that the people are already in place to support and promote and encourage us. The connections are already there. And uh, they're pro already preparing a place for a, they, meaning our angelic help. They're already uh, uh, arranging a wonderful neighborhood for us, a place to live, you know, with like-minded people around and, and, and wonderful, supportive uh, locations and people. Number three is wherever two or more are gathered in that higher source's name, miracles happen. Look at that card. And with us taking that movement forward, with when we take that movement forward, we are stepping into that fated destiny. And it will be with, by collaborating with so many people on uh, business ideas, on, on creative endeavors, things like that, to help them, to help bring them to light. And look at the dove in the middle. This is heaven sent. This is absolutely heaven sent and so blessed. Next card that's coming out for us is, oh my gosh, it's another movement card. It's the Knight of Swords. This also, with this card, fast, fast moving energy. Uh, this, uh, the, the Knight of Swords is you're being offered a business position uh, or, or an opportunity uh, which is wonderful, but you have to be there in four weeks' time. 
and and uh, and and hit the ground running. <laughs> so you'll have to sell your car. You'll have to sublet your apartment. You'll have to put your um, things in storage. You know, this is fast, fast action for us to take. Um, and uh, the posse of angels are. Uh, assuring us that this is going to be a jolt for a lot of people because this year has mainly been a, car, uh, a year of constriction or restriction where we've had to slow down and really go within and it has been a year of trauma and grief for many people but uh, with having slowed down now with yes fast 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 moving energy uh, it will jolt us. They're saying do your best to prioritize things and um, but at the same time, it's going to be very exciting for so many of us. Next card is the Fool. This is the new path. This is the new beginning. Uh, it's a zero card. Uh, many people may not know that uh, the tarot does not begin with a one card. It begins with a zero because we've traveled that road and we've gone full circle and now we're back. We're back as children setting on that new path and we have all that we need to be able to go into that new adventure and as i said with sagittarius sagittarius is all about traveling and adventure they are pointing me towards this satchel that he has slung over his back uh, that the fool has slung over his back and they're saying that we will have all the wherewithal to do to be to have all the, all the gifts, the talents, and the abilities to be able to do what we are presented with. We may not have done it before, but we will have all the wherewithal. And that's why this new path is going to be presented for us. And yet again, the dove presents itself. This is fated. This is heaven sent just for you. <laughs> My phone went ding. Confirmation. The last card for us is the two of wands. Look at that. This is giving the world to you. This card is often, it's a, it's a number two card. It's interesting. The ecstasy card was a number two card. It's collaboration. It's partnerships. It's giving the world to us. The world is your oyster. That's the, that's, this is the world is your oyster card. When we've gone from stepping on that new path to achieving the heights of that castle. It's been a long and winding road, to quote a Beatles song, but we have made it. And open yourself up to the magic, the miracles, and the synchronicities that are going to happen with all of this forward-moving energy going into November. Now the posse of angels are saying, you deserve this. You're worthy of it. In my upcoming um, Angel Healing House blog talk radio this coming Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, uh, I'm going to be speaking about um, the topic, um, am I worthy? Am I worthy and deserving of ascension, of shifting in and being a, being a being of light? on a planet that is shifting into light. So I hope you tune in then. I hope you have uh, found uh, some um, jewels of wisdom in this reading. I know it's getting me very excited about the second half of November. If you would like your own personalized reading with myself and the wonderful, my wonderful uh, angelic family, the Posse of Angels, do call Angel Healing House on 831-277-3716, again, a specific standard time, and, uh, and you, uh, or you can go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. There you will find my award-winning, number one Amazon international best-selling books, um, my other services like ancestral healing and past life clearing and healings, which uh, bring up a great many things in people's lives held in their cellular memory that are stopping them from having the most heaven on earth 
experience that they possibly can. And also the beautiful angelically driven Reiki energy sessions, intuitive counseling. There's lots and lots on there. So please do go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. I'm wishing you so much love. And as always, angel blessings go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. Take care, everyone. And I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Bye.